Well, Bill Harris is back again this week on our show, and today he's talking about your regular workout. But are we talking physical or spiritual workout? Bill says it's both. Well, recently you may have seen Bill Harris on his show Update with Bill Harris discussing the church and the family or maybe the necessity of a pure spirit. Well, Bill is back here once again to talk about his upcoming show, which is Working Out Your Salvation. And Bill, thank you for being on first. And I know that you are one who does take his uh, physical appearance and just overall health very seriously. And so this is applicable both <laughs> spiritually and physically. It is. And I, I think about this because in the mornings I either go swimming or I'm working out uh, in the spa on the floor there, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And that's the physical workout to stay in shape. And it, it, for me, it becomes the first goal that I've met that day. But we have to be so agile spiritually to mm. work out our salvation. And that means we have to do it in a manner where we're noting from God what he requires of us each day. What are the accomplishments we must meet? What are the purposes for which he brought us into this world that we must fulfill throughout our lifespan? Very important. Right. And this is absolutely crucial for any Christian. We spend a lot of time um, perhaps trying to speak with God and letting him know, you know, this is what I need, or this is a struggle I'm currently having. Mm -hmm. But we can't truly know God's direction or know uh, his, his will for our life without this discipline of yep. spending time and working out our faith. That's what's key. And then, you know, a, a part of that workout is the quiet time. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that's a mover, A-type personality, go, get it sure. done, that kind of thing. And I have to discipline myself to be still, to hear from the Lord. And if we will discipline ourselves, he will speak to us and it may take a while. It may take a real learning process, but we have to spend quiet time alone with him and we need to carve out time out of our schedules daily to do that. When I know for you, you've told me in the past that you actually have sometimes set a whole day aside yeah. and maybe that's not that feasible for all of us, but that's how seriously and how much it does take sometimes. It is important. I mean, if, if, if I'm going to come up with sermons to preach on television, I can't go off of my human intellect. Mm -hmm. I think I need to speak with this about this, or I think I need to talk on that. No, God, what do you want hmm. me to say? What do you want to, 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 to fulfill yeah. the needs of the audience? And so that's what you have to do. Well, and you, so you start with uh, in Philippians, where it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So yeah. unpack that for us, fear and trembling. I researched that <laughs> lovingly, and it, it means, Zach, that we, we are moving careful so as not to offend God in anything that we say or do. And even the intents of our hearts, because remember, he can read the mind. He knows hmm. the motive and the intent behind what we're doing. Yeah. So we want to make sure we're not offending him. So it's that kind of fearing and trembling, not in a negative sense, but reverence before God. So explain something for me, because mm -hmm. I was reading through and, and didn't quite catch it. You put up a phrase or the command, so fear as alarm and trembling, tremble with fear. Yeah, that, and it sounds like a little bit of double talk there. There has to be alarm in us, and I think that's our conscience. Huh. Sometimes when we know we're about to reach out and do something wrong, and there's a quick check on the inside, mm. don't go there, don't go there. That's the alarm going sure. off, and we need to follow that. And sometimes it's so subtle, we, we override it, and we go ahead and do it anyway, yeah. and then we suffer the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfortunately very true. Yeah. And you talk about how God works in us as we're able to, to work out our salvation. He's working in us both internally and externally. Yeah, and that's where the maturity process comes in because mm -hmm. we, we don't want to be baby Christians all of our lives. We need to mature. The things that we can't take or deal with as we're young Christians, we learn to mature to where uh, we begin to die out of ourselves and the things we couldn't take now, I, I can take that. If somebody mm -hmm. speaks an unkind word, I used to, you know, let them have a piece of my mind, but you can only <laughs> give out so much of your <laughs> mind, you know. So now you're beginning to take that and you're maturing and you're growing and then thereby you're able to help others to mm. grow and mature. Very important. Well, in, in the way that God strengthens us, you list in our hidden will and additionally our outward work. And those are kind of those two different yeah. things there. And the hidden will on the negative side, it can be whether it's the selfish will that wants to take place or if we have learned to come to grips with that and given that over to God and the inner, the inner person is wanting to spring forth with what the will of God is and the lifestyle of mm. holiness, holiness that we should be living. And then that permeates on the outside. Yeah. And, and there's a different person because we are the light of the world. And for that light to shine and attract others, we have to live holy. And we have to live a lifestyle where people look and say, you know what? 
I'd like to pattern my life after you. What have you got that I haven't got that I need, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's a part of evangelism. It really is. Well, all summer long, you can continue to learn from the strong biblical teaching during Bill's weekly program, Update, with Bill Harris, shown right here on TV44 every Thursday at 9 a.m. and Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Which is one of the many programs that will keep you company as well as encourage and edify your walk with Christ here on TV44. Guys, our viewers have been sharing some of their other favorite programs with us recently, right?